Hey there everyone, it's Thackard and welcome back to another tutorial video for Survival Fountain of Youth. Today we're going over something that most people probably don't touch right away, but you really should because it is extremely helpful as you play the game, and that is the subject of cartography. So, let's get into it. One of the biggest issues you will have in this game is finding resources. Resources are not only needed to craft objects, but actually to create the blueprints for those objects. The issue is, a lot of these resources, resources are in remote locations. They may be in the middle of a jungle or on top of a mountain. You just don't know until you find them. Unless you find them on a map. Unfortunately, you're new to this island and you have no map. And you are going to have to create it by yourself. And that is what I am showing you guys today. We are looking at the cartography system. Or map making. Now, the way the maps are made is based on elevation. The higher you are when you make a map, the more of the island around you that you will be able to map out. That is why for our examples today, we are going to be mapping from that cartography tree over there, that second cartography tree over there, and then we will be mapping from on top of that mountain, or at least part of the way up. Now we are going to need a couple of supplies before we go out. Mainly, the first uh, most important supply is going to be charcoal. Otherwise, we will have no way to draw on our map. So what we're going to do is we're going over to, to our campfire here. We're going to light it up. Add some fuel. Light it up. And now we can make some charcoal. We'll make six pieces in total. There we go. So now we have six pieces of charcoal and we can actually draw our map. So for example, if I go right here right now and I hit the space bar or clip on, click on mapping here, it will tell me that I have a range of 134, however far that is. It will take me three hours to have this process continue, uh, conclude and I have a current altitude of 45. Now. As you can see, I'm pretty low compared to these other places, and so that's why we're going to go there. All right, so the second thing we're going to need is a way to get to the top of these two trees. We can't just climb them. We need a rope to help us out. So we're going to have to go get some. Now, I'm at my little base here, which is just inland from where you first shipwreck. It's over here by this little... This little giant head statue? Yes, little giant head statue. And what we're going to do is we're going to go directly into the forest, just walk straight into the forest from here. Come down this hill. And we're going to pass this little stone pillar to the right of it. Watch out for snakes. They will be around. Oh, hang on a second. Look at that. We actually found a... Uh, that's actually one of the vines that we were looking for. We will actually go to the banyan tree that has some vines on it, though. All right, so we're passing to the right of this pillar, and we are going to be going through the rock to the left there in that big tree there. And if you look in between, as we get closer, you can see another tree that has... Damn it, snake. Yeah, I jumped. I know I did. I hate snakes. You're all going to have to deal with me jumping. Um, between these two trees, you see this tree here, and it has... This is a banyan tree with vines. And so we are going to... There's going to be another snake, too. We're going to come up here. And we are going to use this tree. We're going to pick a couple more vines. We did just pick that one up, which I hadn't noticed before. So that's cool that there's one right there. So don't forget there's, there's going to be a vine right by this tree, uh, this uh, pillar here, post. The other thing we're going to need to get is some narrow leaves. And so we will do so right now. That's nice. I'm glad I saw that. All right. So if we click on the liana, we can hit our blueprints. And there is the ropes that we're going to need. And we're going to make three of these things. We don't need the third one quite yet, but there are other trees that are around. 
Now, one of the things that you have to do is you have to map when it is uh, sunny out. At, uh, it's at least sunny. You might be able to do it when it's cloudy. But if it's raining or foggy or storming or night, you cannot do it because you don't have very good vision. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait for morning. Hope that it's going to be a good day. Yep, there we go. And we're going to head out for these trees so we can map them out. We have our rope, we have our charcoal, and we're going to go on a little adventure. Okay, so we have arrived at our cartography tree, or cartographer tree. What we're going to do is we're going to place the ladder on the tree. And look at that. Now we have a ladder all the way up to that branch up there. Now, I don't know if you can actually fall off these things. I've been really careful not to. That might be an experiment that I have to do at some point, but I haven't done it yet. All right. And while you're up here, there's usually a bird's nest that you can take as well. And it, a lot of times it'll have eggs, feathers, and worms. And eggs are really good for eating. You can cook them up or you can just eat them raw. But what we're up here for is to make a map. So we are going to hit E because as you see in the bottom right there, it says great place for mapping. So we're going to hit E. We're going to hit space for mapping. And you see here, we can now map for 225 range with an altitude of 75. So you can see... We had 30 more altitude here, and we have, what, another, was it another 60 in range? Not too shabby. Again, going to take three hours, so we will just start it up. Boom, there we go. And if you look here, we have now revealed an area around where we are. We can actually see where our base is right over here. And we can see that banyan tree where we got those resources before. But guess what? There's another banyan tree over here. There's a place that has big branches. I mean, look at all this stuff that we just revealed. I just fell off the tree. <laughs> Apparently, you can fall off the tree. That's staying in the video, by the way. That's so staying in the video. Going back to the map. You can see all these different things that have been revealed including some food items like bread trees. Bread trees are really good, especially if you are very hungry. They give you both food and water, and they are great for both of those resources. All right. I'm going to have to go back over there and pick up all my stuff because it's lying in a giant crater at the bottom of the tree. So I'll catch you up with you guys when I go get that and when we get to that second tree. All right, real quick, like we're right by our base here again. You can see the head over there. You can see the head over here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to follow this road. And this will take us kind of around to where that next tree is. So we're just going to stick to the road because on the road, there are less critters that will eat you. Although you can have some snakes on the edge of the forest here. But it is also an identifiable marker and path that we can use, so it makes it a little easier to get around. Okay, so we have arrived at our second tree here. Just be careful about this tree because there are snakes around it. We're going to put our cartographer's tree rope up here. So attach the rope right on top of this little stone here. Very nice. And up we go. Oh, 
We're going to try not to fall off this time. We are going to map. All right. This time I'm going to go down the tree. Before we look at our map, that way I don't fall off somehow. All right, so if you look here, this was an even larger area because our height was even higher. And as you can see, it doesn't just show you where resources are, more bread trees, more big branches. It also shows you where things like special items are. Interesting items. These are things like notes, chest that will have, I think this one has like a potion in it, I believe. Over here, we have some more interesting items. This has a special object over here. These are all points of interest that we're definitely going, going to want to go to at uh, different times. And if you look here, you can also see all the animals that are around, you know? Here we have the spotted skunks. We have more of the birds up here. We have some chickens. We have the pecker, uh, pec, uh, pec, peccary, 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 peccary. Um, over here we have some boars. So you can see where all these different critters are at, which will allow you to go hunting quite a bit easier. Now, next we are going to be headed towards this mountain over here. You can actually see some stuff that we've revealed on the mountain already. Okay, so we are at the base of this mountain here. And if we, that road we came up before, you might have seen this little head statue. And right now it's glowing. We could use it to get some more, but we're just going to let it sit there and glow. This is kind of like a waypoint to show you where the path up the mountain begins. And that is what we are going to take right now. And we're going to go eh, pretty high up this mountain so we can make a nice big map. Okay, so we have climbed up the mountain here, and we've reached this little spot where there's this little kind of balcony almost. And my assumption is that this is supposed to be a mapping point. We could get a little bit higher, but this one is actually pretty nice. And besides, it has a hell of a view. Now, if we look here, we are right at the edge of the area that we've already uncovered. So let's uncover a little bit more. Now, if you look here, we have a height of 139. So we are going to have a mapping range of 418. Just comparing to where we were before, that was a tree where we were at before. We were on the branch that was down there. So we're even higher than we were last time. All right, and there we go. You can see we have kind of show uh, revealed a huge section of the map right here all the way out to this coastline and once again you can see we've shown off some special items apparently there's a cave here whole bunch of stuff for us to go and find now you will find more cartography trees and obviously more mountains all around the island but don't be afraid if you need to map out an area or you would like to to just get to the highest kind of rocks that are around and just use those for mapping all right everybody i hope this has kind of given you an idea how the cartography system works 
and how useful it actually is to your play. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. If you have any questions about something that isn't cartography uh, related, leave those down there below as well. And I will try to answer all those questions the best as I can. You all have a great one. If you enjoyed or disliked this video, I do hope you comment on it and give it a thumbs up or down. If you want to see new videos, please hit the subscribe button. And to be notified of new content when it comes out, hit the notification bell. But for now, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day, and don't forget to bring it no matter what you do. And I will see you guys in the next video.